Hi, this is Kimball Bullington. This is a video about personal Kanbans. Uh, Kanbans are one, uh, Kanban boards are one of my favorite project management tools. Uh, very simple, very easy to use, and extremely powerful. So uh, let's, let's take a look. So they're so easy to set up. So uh, hopefully in a moment I'll show you uh, mine. But um, you can set them up just about anywhere you have space. And I prefer to actually start with a, um, a non-digital um, uh, personal Kanban. So my Kanban board quite, quite uh, right now is above my desk on the credenza, and I'm using little magnetic strips. Uh, I have used um, uh, blue painter's tape before to make the lines. And then uh, I'm using sticky notes, uh, which is one of my favorite tools uh, to denote the, the task. So uh, I'll show you uh, that graphically here in a moment. So um, some the simplest Kanbans probably have three uh, columns. I prefer to use four. Uh, they, they almost always have a to-do where you capture uh, tasks or sort of in your backlog um, and in progress and then done. I'm a very strong believer that most people don't multitask. Uh, they try, but they really switch back and forth. And if we can limit that switching, uh, we're better off and more efficient. And so I have added a doing um, column. Uh, I'm, I'm not the first to do this. Uh, and so I may start a project and be interrupted or uh, have to get more information or something. So it's not... Um, it's not a fresh project, it's one I'm working on, but I'm not currently working on it, so I'll move it back into the in-progress. And I only keep one uh, task in the doing at a time, then done, obviously. I move them over here when they're complete, and it's actually good to keep them there for a little bit because there's always a chance that they're not quite as complete as you might have thought. So these are project-related tasks. It's not like your whole to-do list. This is for a particular project. And then in the in progress, you want to limit the work in, in process or in progress. And, and so you do that by basically setting a limit on how many um, sticky notes you're going to put in this. Uh, a common limit is three. Uh, somewhere in three to five range is pretty common. So you don't just don't just anything you've ever worked on. If you haven't worked on it in a while, you just move it back in the to-do. Um, and then in the doing part, that's one task, and this is during usually during your block time. So um, you, you probably have other tasks that are competing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis just in work that you have to, be, have to get done. And quite often we have to block time for the important but not urgent um, items and then finally we move um, tasks over into the done. What does this look like? Well, uh, I, I wish I had my pic photo ready here, but I don't. I'm having problems in my office uh, commu uh, commu communicating with my phone. So um, it looks something like this. So for my bike the trace uh, prep project, and I've used different colors for um, my um, tasks. Uh, the yellow colors have to do more with the plan and the project manage it, management itself. And then the, um, the blue uh, sticky notes here have to do more with the actual prep uh, for, the, for the project. So however you want to uh, use colors, it, I think it's helpful to sort of segment your task uh, as appropriate. Your work breakdown structure may give you a clue on how to do that. So here, uh, according to this one, uh, I've finished my charter, I've finished my work breakdown structure, I'm currently working on the Kanban board, and um, I have some others that I've started, but I'm not currently working on. I uh, started the root plan, and I've started the Gantt, but I haven't finished them, and I'm not at this moment working on them, so I'll move them into the in progress. And then there are others that are on the backlog. So that's a, a really quick summary of what um, uh, a Kanban board is and how it can be used. Hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll take a few pictures of uh, photos of some of my 
uh, personal Kanbans. The one I have right above my desk here is, and I have another one over here uh, for a different project. And um, I think you'll find it powerful. In a lot of cases, for small projects, uh, relatively simple projects, this will be a more useful tool than a Gantt chart. Um, and I would use this almost instead of a Gantt chart for some of the small ones. So thanks. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Once again, this is uh, Kanban boards.